hi everyone just want to share with you something here right now this is a, a um, steam engine which was uh, a kit and I had this years ago never ever got it to work because I didn't understand the concept of these holes in here and how it worked and the movement of it so I experimented experimented cut it down drilled many holes made a mess of it the, the brazing of the pipe the soldering of the pipe here was done by my brother he helped me out a bit but nevertheless this didn't work uh, I messed about a lot here uh, I even even made another a piston well got my brother to to, to make this for me uh, to see if the piston was at fault now okay so I like to pair this or try to get it going somehow if not this then I bought this basically I got my brother again to braise these two uh, tubes um, copper tubes here for me I think they're copper anyway um, so I, I was thinking whether it, if I put this on somehow or even on a different thing and made it work. So it's one or the other, I'm going to try or I'm going to try with both, but I'm not sure if I can get this going. So I thought I'd show you, it's, it's a really nice little kit really because you can uh, take that off, put the water in, um, so water fills up to just there and then this Obviously, it's a pressure valve in case so it doesn't blow up. So, yeah, clean it up one thing or another. Let's have a go at that. I want to understand how this actually works in a sense that where the holes are, where this hole should be, how far this should be. Now, I know one thing that when you, when you put this on and with the hole there, this hole there got to line up with obviously one of these holes okay so then the pistons either there or there there or there like that and then the, when it lines up with the next one there or there so I've got to figure out that particular uh, that particular thing there so I know how this works once I've got that figured out because I haven't bought, when I bought this, I didn't buy, I didn't buy the um, the flywheel, and this obviously is um, my brother's put on, but it's too big, so I always cut these down a bit. The idea is to just uh, get that old, um, the uh, use this and put a tube there, and see if that works. Okay, so what I've done is this does not belong to this particular engine. It's from another thing that I bought before. So I had I bought this oh gosh over five years ago, and so I thought I'll use it for this one. I put I've cut this down a little bit, as you can see. So I'm going to mount it on mount it on a block of wood, and so it's, it's going up and down nicely. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure it was going to work. So for temporary purpose sake, just to make sure this is working nicely here, temporary purpose sake, I'm going to cut this pipe here and use this boiler to run this. I'm going to ignore this. If I cut this pipe, I'm going to take this off and maybe, maybe mount this here somehow. I can't. What can I? Well, I'll mount it on something for arguments, just to test it out. And then uh, I, will, I'm, I am going to move this from here and make and put it onto another piece of wood or something like that. Anyway, that's the plan. Okay guys, the story so far then. I've took took that off there. I've also took off the old the old uh, piston which I'm still gonna make it work because I'm not gonna let it defeat me that night right. Um, I'll cut this here we be very careful, I nearly broke that. Let's see how it goes. And I've cut that piece as I told you before. And I've mounted this there, and I had to mount it. This is the only way I could mount it. 
So if you see what it is right now, I'm going to oil it a little bit here and fire it up and see what happens. And this is the burner part. Hi guys, so the story so far is this on this engine. I took off the old uh, thing about it and I put this on here and um, I just want to make sure that this is working because I don't think this particular rod and this is for this particular piston but uh, I'm pretty sure the holes are lining up properly there. So I cut this off and I tried to put this um, tube onto there and tried it with that but obviously there's lots of leak because this is very loose there etc etc and I'll accept that. <laughs> so um, I thought you know just make sure it's working. I haven't got a compressor such as uh, people have so I've got a, a balloon pump here. Balloon pump. So I'm just going to try it out uh, just to see if everything works and this should work this way around. All right as far as I know. So if I put that there and try it. I have sprayed it a little bit to make it loose because it's very very tight. Oh dear. Oh dear. So as you can see that it's working it's working. So if I can if I can put the uh, steam uh, if I can connect these up the steam it should work. I did want something that's flexible to just push it, put, um, push it under this one or that one so it's, it spins the other way around but I haven't got around to that yet and that's it for now so um, I'll call this part one as it were, uh, Mr's here, <laughs> uh, do subscribe, uh, add a comment, let me know something you guys might know I don't know about and see how it goes but this wasn't working on the return valve as it was return this way it started to work because I, I lubricated it a little bit so that's great I'm really glad about that but I found that this is not easy okay you're gonna have a go okay stand here and have a go stand here and have a go that's it push stand, stand here that's it good boy so I, I found yes it's hard wait there do it now now pull it out first. Now wait a minute. Now push it. Go on. Go on. Keep going. <laughs> hey guys, subscribe, write a comment, and uh, thumbs up, please.